It was Jimmy Hobart that actually introduced us to Carl Hesse. They both um, were gymnasts. They both played piano. They both were wonderful cooks. And um, I remember Carl and Jimmy Hobart having these apple pie contests. They had, they had these contests to see which one of them could bake an apple pie from scratch, making their own pastry, rolling it out, cutting up the apples, filling the pie crust and baking it. And the pair of them were just covered in flour and apple cores were, and peelings were all over the floor as peelers and knives and, and ingredients were flying all over the kitchen. And it was a great lot of fun. Of course, then we all got to eat the apple pie. I can't remember who won the contest. It didn't matter because the whole event was just so much fun. Carl was a very energetic uh, man who at the time I didn't know that he was an artist. But on subsequent visits, I found him um, gleefully bending over these large format panels, painting away in whatever he could get his hands on. Sometimes it was oil paint, sometimes it was watercolor, but whatever medium he chose at the time, he was always um, very enthusiastic and very, very good. I remember being very impressed by the light and the compositions, his choice of palette, his color. Uh, his subject matter. Um, primarily, he painted um, what he saw and what you know, his the environment that he lived in. Mostly for the drama and the limited palette and the absolute stunning grays that Carl has been able to create out of seemingly um, one or two colors. The painting denotes a very misty scene. Of course, we get a lot of misty weather on the West Coast. Would have seen a lot of this type of scene. I particularly love the marbled effect that he gets in the tree trunks. It gives the whole painting a sort of a bordering on the eerie, but also a, a, a very beautiful eeriness about it. It's, um, there's a lot of detail in the tree trunks, but also a lot of abstract and a lot of impressionistic um, work in it. There's um, beautiful uh, light coming in from the right hand side and the left. The whole composition is just beautifully put together, beautiful in, in its softness and um, in the technique that he used. <laughs>